From Soldiers Radio and Television, this is the Army Today, a daily feature from around the globe. The new Army Mobility Asset Tracking System, an upgrade of the Radio Frequency Identification System, is now underway at Camp Air of John Kuwait. The company, Cubic Global Tracking Solutions, created the technology to help in the tracking of equipment as it's processed through the Redistribution Property Assistant Team System. The 402nd Army Field Support Brigade and the Army Materiel Command, or AMC, implemented the new system. First of all, you're going to have the uh, MATS tag, and you're, it's also part of the infrastructure. You're going to have extender tags and uh, what they call an FMG, which is a fixed mesh gateway. And um, that makes up the infrastructure for the tags to read and report into the server. And then we also have the hand scanners, which we use to link up the tag with the ELID sticker on the truck and then we can track each tag with truck. Each label has its own unique number and contains information about where the equipment has to be shipped. When the information is scanned into the network, it continues down the chain until it reaches the destination at the fixed mesh gateway. The gateway will pass the information on to personnel who track the assets' movements in real time on computers that use programs like Google Earth. The program has worked so well that during the test phase, the Army opted to permanently deploy the system. Cubic Global hopes to update the system to allow the labels to contain more information, including door status, light intensity, humidity, temperature, and motion. The AMAT system is going to be used by the 402nd and the AMC to keep track of vehicles. Reporting from Camp Air of John Kuwait for the first TSC, I'm Private First Class, James Bowen Jr. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television.